Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough, where we only deploy female soldiers. But today, we're gonna go into Operation Secret Law with a bit of a weird team uh, because most of our troopers are actually, most of our Valkyries are actually tired or wounded. I think somebody is still wounded. Um, but that means we have a very, very special team with Hilda, Elena, Alessia, Jacqueline, Christina, and Marina, that was it, Marina. But I still have a few things I can do with Marina, because Marina has an open slot, and I don't like open slots, but if I recall correctly, we have one exo suit. There we go. That looks badass now, doesn't it? The EXO armor suit gives our soldiers the power they need to handle heavy weapons, with the durability to match. And I think that comes equipped with a free, yeah, rocket, so that's gonna be nice. There we go, so a shoulder-mounted rocket on our Grenadier, that seems to fit rather nicely. So we have a rocket launcher, and now double the frag grenade. So I think that's the only thing we can do. So now Marina is basically our uh, heavy weapons expert with five extra health and an extra bit of armor because of the heavy exosuit. And there we go, that's it. We're gonna go with this team of Valkyrie. So here we go to Operation Secret Law. So we're back in the sewers, it seems like. So we need to destroy a communications relay. I don't know, Bradford is kind of glitching out. He's talking, but he's not really saying anything. Because he said that on the ship already. So uh, that means, sadly, that we're going to have not that much use out of our snipers. Because the sidelines will be limited. Although this seems like a pretty open area let's move up with elena hmm. you know what i'm just gonna move up if i come across anything i'll let you guys know and we can see from there and we spot a mech and an officer so i'm guessing it's because bradford is still kind of talking that we can't really do anything just yet but uh, let's yeah i'm just gonna move everybody up so i think bradford broke completely because his uh his thing keeps standing there so we'll be watching it Watching that for the entirety of the mission, I suppose. So the officer and the mech are starting to move. But it's really, really quiet on music right now. So I'm hoping that's going to kick in once we uh, get spotted. But for now, we're not, uh, we're not doing much. And you know what? I think we should actually start this off with uh, a sniper rifle shot. So 82 on the officer, which if we crit could actually kill. So uh, let's try that as an ambush shot. Here we go. And there we go, there goes the officer, that's a very nice first shot, and the max spots us, of course. And there we go, the music kicks in. So Bradford is still yapping on about something, but uh, there we go, that's something at least. Now of course in true XCOM fashion, everybody is out of reach, so let's start moving up a few people. I think there is a ladder, but I think it's on the other side, right? Yeah, so that's on the other side. If I... Put Jacqueline over there. We might be able to do something. I don't want to get too close because, of course, it's just a mech. And mechs should be uh, easily de dealt with because... So, Christina had a shot. So, I think Hilda, if I put it over here, should have a shot as well. Yeah, she does. It's 69. <laughs> 69. But, um... Just gonna move everybody up because I think if I can have either Marina or Hilda get the final shot, they will get the experience for the kill. Um, then Jacqueline first with a 77% shot to uh, hopefully weaken it and not kill it. Yeah, that's five damage, that's really good, and that's the first time we see the Mac cannon in action. And then we can get Hilda's shot with a 69%. If she hits, she kills. And she misses, so that means it's up to Marina then. Marina can go with a 68% shot. If that misses as well, we still have some backup, but that sounds like a hit. There we go. Marina gets her first kill. And then we can move Alessia up as well to give her a better over, uh, overview shot. I could even put her up here. I think that's getting a bit close. Although, you know what? No, let's try it. We still have uh, Elena as our final action. And from there, Alessia will have a good shot. Uh, we need to start moving up because we only have six more turns to uh, get that data transfer going. 
Um, and the data transfer is, yeah, still quite a ways off. I never actually noticed this, but on the darker maps, especially the super map, all of our troops have actually a flashlight equipped. That's actually really nice. So I put Elena in front since she's still in shadow. Uh, and I think she can actually pick up... Hmm, should probably be careful. So we're pretty close to the room now. Uh, but I'm going to put Elena over here. She passes through the loot. I know that, but at least we know that. Okay. That's... Is that a double sectoid and a muton? Yeah, that other one was a muton. So pretty sure that means we have... Yeah, quite a bit of uh, stuff to deal with in a second. Um, let's start moving everybody up, because of course from here we can't do anything. And I grab the loot and it's just a single scope, that's not much. Ah crap, okay we triggered them. We triggered them and that's not good. That is not good at all, because Jacqueline has the flashbang. And I think, yeah, they spotted Elena as well. Okay, luckily I still have Christina available with a sniper rifle, although her shots really, really suck. But a 58% shot at the sectoids, that's yeah, gonna have to do. If that hits, at least one of them is down. And it does, that sounds like a kill, there we go. Christina kills one of the sectoids. Then... Crap, and Elena... Oh no, Elena actually has... Aha. Uh -huh. Elena still has a shot left. And remember she bypasses armor, right? No, she bypasses two armor. But that means that should be five to six, right? Because she bypasses the armor. She does, right? Plus one damage if the target has been wounded this turn. A shots taken in shadow have two. Oh, shots taken in shadow have two armor piercing. Okay. Then I think we still have, yeah, Marina. The rocket launcher does actually more damage. But I don't think it shreds armor. So let's just launch a frag grenade. Uh, right over... Ooh. Oh no. I won't be able to... I won't be able to hit him. Come on. Come on. There we go. So that should hit the muton and not Elena. And that should also shred one of his... I don't know why it's showing us that much damage. That's probably because of the... I think the game is glitching out big time here. But, grenade incoming. I couldn't take out this cover without uh, risking Elena's position there. Yeah, so one damage and one armor shredded. But it has been wounded this turn, so Elena now also does more damage. We still have a sniper rifle shot as well. From a pretty good position, actually. So if we can get this off, with the height advantage, ooh, that's just not enough. Uh, so I'm just worried about, about the sectoid now. I have a 100% shot on the muton from there. And a 20% shot from over there, so I think I'm going to have to use Elena for this. So there we go. Blamo. Goodbye muton. Um, and then Hilda, I think Hilda is our only one left, so we're gonna have to put it on Overwatch. The sectoid is moving back. Is it moving back or is it trying to get closer? Seems like it's... yeah, okay. That means I can go into shadow again. And try and find it with... Uh... Is there a door to this place? Does this, does this place have a door? Doesn't, ooh, yeah, over here on the complete opposite side of things. Okay, gonna have to be very, very careful now. No sight on the sectoid just yet. So that means I'm just gonna inch forward and get some overwatch shots in. So round of overwatch. We should be able to get a shot at the sectoid if it tries to pop out again. But we're only three turns away again from the uh, data transfer. And it's not budging. Okay, so... That means I'm going to move Elena upstairs so she can take a look where any other enemies are as to where the other enemies are. No sight just yet. Um, I do need to be careful with the detection radii. I don't know if they can actually see through all of this. 
But let's move it over here. There it is. There he is. Ooh, that is. Was that two vipers and a sectoid? That's actually not that bad. So we saw. Yeah, okay. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, Bradford completely broke. So there. Aha. Wait, there's something big behind that as well. Is that one of those specters again? Seems to have enough health to be a specter. So two vipers, a sectoid, and a specter. So I need to be careful if I approach. Okay, there we go. Everybody moved up. I used all movement actions, so we don't have overwatch shots. But we only have two more turns until the data transfer is complete. So uh, either we start shooting at it with Elena, which might trigger her, uh, her abilities as well. Or, yeah, I think we're going to have to start triggering those remaining aliens. Um, so Christina, Christina can move over here. And that probably triggers the aliens. It does. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so it's a specter with two vipers. And that's probably then the remaining sectoid, I suppose. So the batch is probably just... Although the sectoid does get another action as well. Elena is actually pretty close to the sectoids. Um, but we have strong explosives as well. So let's get that rocket out. If we can. Yeah, I think if I put uh, Marina over here, I can actually fire the rocket straight into there. Because the rocket is, is pretty powerful. It's 4 to 7 damage. And it has quite a big radius. I think I could... Ooh, that's even really good. Where's the final Viper? Over there. So if I can hit it over there, that's nice. And I think I just not hit the... Pillar. Okay, but I know I can do that. I'm gonna move um, Elena up first. Because I can probably hit the sectoid from the sides. So like this. And then hit... Ooh, I have another. Oh, I have a... Aha! Uh -huh. A flank shot at the Viper as well. You know what? I... Put her out of the way, so now we can fire the rocket. So let's do that first with Marina. Rocket. Straight into there. Need to find a good position again. There we go. So that hits both the Viper, the target, and the Spectre. So rocket launcher in. And cover away as well. There we go. Six, six, and... Wait, did that kill? Ooh. Did that kill that one Viper? I think it did. Uh, the relay is almost down as well. Um, we could fire at the sectoid, but the sectoid... I get extra damage if I hit something that's already been damaged. I wonder, if I put Jacqueline over there... Aha, there's the other Viper. There's the other Viper. It wasn't dead yet, I suppose so. Um, I could get a shot in at the Spectre. 81% is actually not bad. 89 is an either, but 89... I can do that with basically any weapon. Um, 81, here we go. That's... Okay, that's also a position. And there it goes. Spectre down again. With 11 damage. Then Christina has... Ooh, that's actually a lot for the pistol. Or I could kill the... The relay with it. Um, 50 on the, yeah, 50 on the sector isn't much, so I'll just go with on the relay, so that destroys the objective at least, so that's done. We destroyed it at all costs, so Bradford should be happy. Uh, then we have Hilde. You need to be careful, because I know there's at least, yeah, Alessia can't see anything from here. Elena still has a shot as well, but you can only see the full health fiber and the sectoid. So, Hilda, what can you see? You can kill that Viper. Yeah, I think you're going to have to kill that Viper. 85%. There it goes. I could have Skull Jacked it as well, but then I would be out in the open. And then Elena is going to have to shoot the Sectoids. Let's try that. That's six damage, and maybe we get revealed. Yeah, we get revealed. Okay. 
So that's gonna be annoying, because that was our final shot. So there's a Viper and a Sactoid still alive. Please don't. Is that gonna go- ooh, poisoned. Poisoned isn't that bad. The Sactoid moves down. Who is he gonna- he's gonna try and mind control somebody. And the mind control is on Jacqueline as well, and she- he succeeds. But he's almost down, so shouldn't be that much of a problem. Um, let's try a few things here. So Alessia clearly couldn't see the Viper. I don't know if Christina still has... Christina still has a shot. A 44% shot. That's not full cover from your perspective, though, so that's a bit weird. Um, Marina. Yeah, Marina's just going to go for a flank shot. So Marina goes over here. And just flanks the hell out of the sectoids with an 88% shot. Yeah, bye. I think that was a bit of overkill, but there we go. So that gets rid of the mind control. Then, um, I think I should probably get Jacqueline out of the way of the poison. How big is that poison cloud? I mean, this is going to be enough. So let's put it over there. And then let's have her fire at, of course, because she's poisoned. You know what? I can try and fix that first. Uh, so if I... Oh no, that's only 8 protocol. Do we have another specialist? <laughs> I think we don't, right? We don't have a healer just yet. Damn it. Okay. Then I'm gonna have to shoot with Jacqueline. 61% on the Viper. Is she gonna get a revenge or not? I uh, don't think she does, because she missed. Okay. Then, Christina doesn't have sight, but Hild, of course, does. 88% shot. But let's move it into full coffee first. And then 80... Okay. 87? There we go, 87. Goodbye, Viper. And that's another alien down. Is that... Okay, that weapon does a bit weird, but is that the end of the mission? Because usually Bradford says something really encouraging about how good of a job we're doing. And um, we're, that we're doing it very well. And that we've done really good on this mission. But right now it feels like, you know, he's, he's a bit broken. I feel like Bradford is a bit broken at the moment. So I might have to, uh, you know... Ah, there we go. I could have filled that for a while, but I mean, I was going to reload the save file eventually. Only eight aliens, one soldier wounded, Jacqueline again got poisoned. Uh, but otherwise, an excellent mission. Operation Secret Law done. And there we go, back at... Back at base. Back at the Avenger. Ready to receive some promotions, I think. One. So, two people got tired, so Hilda and uh, Christina got tired. No, 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 no. Jacqueline got tired. Uh, so, lightly wounded for seven days, though. We get a promotion on Christina, so that gives her either dead eye or lightning hands, fire your pistol at a target. That attack does not cost an action. Her pistol actually does quite a bit of damage right now, so I might actually put Christina into the pistol uh, rank again. So, let's put lightning hands over there. And uh, that's her promotion to sergeant. And now we can see what we get. We get a scope, the one bit of loot we get. That's 5% extra aim, it's not much, but it's something. Then an officer, two, uh, a mech, two sectoids, a muton, a specter, and two viper corpses. Excellent work, Commander. And we get 175 supplies on top of that, and we won't get the wild hunt. So uh, that the Chosen have a lot bigger chance of appearing on missions. So I'm glad we don't have that, because that always uh, throws a wrench in the works. Now. What we want to do is just prepare a little bit. Um, we want to have people recover. So I think I can pull one engineer from shielding the power coil. Uh, so let's put that to empty. That's going to increase that to 17 days now. But I want to get somebody in the infirmary. So Aaron Kennedy in the infirmary. Okay. And then let's start scanning on the bridge. Because what we want to do now is just start scanning a few things. I'm going to investigate that in a minute. 
because we want to get everybody back up and running. Uh, it's going to be very precise, because uh, after that, I want to hit the black side. So let's just go to the battle side over there, while the warlock just starts jabbering about, about, on, on, about the elders and stuff like that. He's really a fan of those guys, if you haven't noticed yet. But two days for the battle site. A sabotage attempt on one of our facilities was unsuccessful. So they tried, but they failed. What does that mean? Because that sounds really, really bad. <laughs> but let's continue scanning and we get... Located. Nice, 25 alien alloys and 21 Illyrium crystals for just two days. That's really, really nice. And we get more alien alloys at the isolated haven. Okay, we're one day away from the skull check as well. I haven't seen anybody recovering just yet, so I think Jacqueline still needs to recover. So let's go over there until we see that recovery pop up. And we get the skill jack complete, so skill jack allows us to hack to... Wait, we... didn't we have one already? I thought that was just improving the skill jack. There we go, Jacqueline. Ooh, I just cancelled, but Jacqueline Morrell has recovered from her wounds. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. We're one block away from the Avatar project. I'm just going to have to check now. Because how many of our people are actually... I don't know why this is still blinking. Do we have somebody who needs promotions or... Sarah? Sarah? Sarah has a promotion. Oh yeah, from the covert action probably. So major, our first major. Ever vigilant if you spend all of your actions on moves, you are granted an automatic overwatch shot. That's cool. But with every successful overwatch shot, there's a 50% chance that another shot will be taken. But it needs to be a successful Overwatch shot, and it's only 50%, so that's really, really specific. So I think Ever Vigilant is more interesting. There we go. Sarah goes up to Major, and she's still lightly wounded for one day, so we still definitely need to wait one day. Um, and otherwise, we have still two people on the covert action, but otherwise everybody's out from resting. So I'm going to wait one more day until we're back from the COVID action and see what the results are there. Although I don't even need to wait for that if I don't want to. So I think if I complete the scanning over here... Strategic resource located. We got the 33 alien alloys. I didn't see the recovery pop up. So I think... Yeah, I'm just going to go to Reaper HQ. For the East African sector. I'm going to get one bit of intel. Until... Okay. Seem to ah, work well there we go. Together, Commander. There we go. That's good. So, Lisbeth and Emily are back. Health increased by Emily. And we got 13 ability points. I'm going to check that in a second. But we need to sign a new covert action. It's going to be a low priority one. Because I don't want to use anybody important at the moment. We could actually sabotage as well. This sounds really good, actually. Reduce after project progress. We need a sergeant. Sergeants are Christina. Christina, I'm not going to use Christina on the next mission anyway. And then an extra soldier. Uh, let's put um, Hilda along with her as well. And then give those 25 supplies as well. So we have only a moderate chance of getting a soldier wounded. It takes seven days and we reduce the Avatar project progress. So let's confirm that action and begin. begin the covert action immediately, Commander. Then, I just want to check, are we already? No, there's still somebody wounded. So we need to go back to the bridge. There we go. The aliens aren't slowing down. Oh, They've crap. We've already got multiple facilities operating across the globe. We're okay. running out of time. Commander, we're almost out of time. The Avatar project is entering its final stages. The only way we're going to slow the Elder's progress is by destroying one of their facilities. We have to move fast or everything we've worked towards will be lost. Indeed it will, so... Blackside is up next. Uh, we also have seven days until we have the sabotage, so that's gonna be fine too. So I think we're still good. I think we're still good. Uh, we could start making contact with something else, but we're not gonna do that just yet. We did get the recovery, so I'm just quickly gonna go back and move that engineer over again. 
So let's put Eren off of uh, medical duty and back onto shielding the uh, power coil over here. There we go. So that's back up to seven days. Resistance comms is also very close. So I feel like we're still doing okay. No need to panic. I'm panicking a little bit. I always panic when that timer appears. But we're at the end of the Avatar project progress. So that means that next up, we're going to hit the alien black side. We don't have any other option. We really need to do this right now. We don't have another option. So advent black side. The remote alien facility is heavily guarded by the advent. We need to investigate the site on behalf of the resistance and report back immediately. Operation Dead Man's Chance. Setting course for West Africa. So we're going over there. If that doesn't work, if we for some reason fail this, we still have enough time Command, to deal with this in any other ways. We're going to be happy if we don't put the Skulljack to good use. We should have one of our soldiers equip it before they deploy. And we're definitely going to do that. So the Skulljack is going to go on to Sarah, because Sarah has a 100... Uh, hack stat at the moment, so let's give her the skill check. We actually have two now, so I must have mispressed something in the, uh, you know, and then the in the proving grounds. Um, I could give one to Kelly as well. So we have two skill checks there. Because Kelly's hack stat is lower, but if she can, she can, and she's gonna be our main healer anyway. So let's do that. Then I'm going to have to see about the mission setup. I think I'm going to remove uh, Marina here and put in Lena again. So Lena over there. So now we have one of each, except that we have two specialists. Do I want to have two specialists is of course the question. Alessia is really good with a sniper rifle, but she might not necessarily need it. Um, although there's plenty of aliens, I really should. I really should keep the sharpshooter in the back. Um, and then I'm going to give Heidi, because Heidi's back. Heidi's back. Heidi is going to get the dragon rounds back. So we have that. And then I think this is going to be the team. So we have uh, no grenadier. There is something I can do to start shredding armor. If I give Elena, because we got, got that, those ability points. So if you use... Her abilities, we can actually add shredding to the vector rifle. We have plenty of uh, of ability points left, so I think shredding on... Yeah, there we go. Shredding on the vector rifle. So that's permanent, right? Yeah, the vector rifle gives you... Okay. And we could also get that eye. A shot with a small aim penalty for a significant damage boost. No, I'm going to wait until she levels up, because otherwise I'm going to be spending way too many of my ability points now. I do think... However, that we can give another aim boost to Alessia. Since Alessia has, I think Alessia still has an open slot for the weapon upgrade. She has the advanced expanded magazine, but she can also get the scope. So that adds 5% to any shot she takes as well. And then the final thing I want to do um, is... No, I need to go through the uh, Guerrilla Tactics School of the Training Center if I want to do any more abilities. I think we're good the way we are. So we have a few nice bonds, because I think, yeah, Kelly and Heidi have a bond. I'm not sure if Sarah and Alessia, if that is the bond that they actually have. So they are bonded with Sarah. Yeah, okay, so we have three bonds ready here. So that means three, I mean four, because I think the, the level three rank actually gives you two actions you can share. So we have four times we can actually move around action points. So that should be enough to take on this very difficult mission. And everybody's equipped. Everybody's ready to go, so this is going to be for next time. That man's chance, we're going to hit the Advent Black side next time. So thank you guys and all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and when we get back, we're going to finally hit the Black side. So thank you guys and all for watching, and see you next time in the next episode of XCOM 2, The Valkyrie Playthrough. Goodbye!